Kilauea volcano on Hawaii Island continues to erupt, and all activity is confined to the summit, with no indication that additional magma is currently moving into either of Kilauea's rift zones. Lava is still erupting from a vent on the northwest side. As of February 3rd, it has filled about 213 meters or 699 feet of the summit crater. Activity has been stable in recent days with no major changes. Only the western portion of the lava lake is active. The U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says the vigor of the lava stream fluctuated on Tuesday, with cycles lasting five to six minutes. Similar cycles were recorded in this video taken in late January. It's been sped up by 90 times. These cycles also lasted five to six minutes. During peaks, there are high flow rates in the channel and spattering at the vents. During troughs, the channel is nearly inactive. Scientists said the variations may be due to oscillations in the height of the lava column in the vent. Recently, scientists said effusion rates have correlated positively with inflation at the summit. However, instruments recorded the onset of deflationary tilt on Tuesday at 5.30 p.m., which continued Wednesday morning. In another recent video, scientists recorded flames around the vent. HVO said the combusting gas is not certain, but flames were observed numerous times at the summit lava lake during the early 1900s. Geologists say the active surface lava remains largely confined to the western half of the lake as before. The stagnant eastern area of the lake has recently been about 8 meters or 26 feet lower than the active portion, which is perched and elevated. Surface cracks can also be seen, separating the active and stagnant parts of the lava lake. This thermal image was taken during a February 1st helicopter flight. It shows how lava occasionally oozes out along the eastern lake perimeter. Scientists say that during the overflight, a large overflow breached the northern levee and flowed along the northern lake margin toward the east. Sulfur dioxide emission rates remain elevated and were last measured at 2,200 tons per day, which is lower than the emission rates from the lava lake before 2018. Scientists are still learning new things from this latest volcanic activity. They say the chemistry of the erupted material indicates that hot, fresh magma has not been erupted during this episode. Rather, this is older, cooler magma, possibly leftover from 2018, that is now erupting at the summit. One question that cannot be answered at this time is how long this eruption will last. HVO geologist Matt Patrick spoke about this during a recent Volcano Awareness Month presentation. Of course, Hale Ma'u'u'u is, is the home of Pele, and this is very fitting because Hale Ma'u'u'u has such a long history of lava lake activity. We've had, uh, there were decades, well, almost 100 years of lava lake activity in the 1800s and early 1900s. Um, this is an example of one of the beautiful perched lava lakes that were formed in Hale Ma'u'u'u. And of course, we had 10 years of continuous lava lake activity from 2008 to 2018. But what we've seen is that, you know, these previous eruptions at Halemama, there's a there's a, a wide range in eruption durations. They can last for a day or they can last for decades. Uh, so it's still unclear how long uh, this eruption will last. There's no indication of it stopping. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily have to last as long as these previous eruptions. In any case, we're watching this very closely. Um, we're out in the field on a daily basis. We have a very robust monitoring network that's keeping a very close eye on the eruption. So, thank you.